Okay, everybody. So welcome back to our brand new audio first card course. This is one of the workflows and walkthroughs for uh, niche audiences. So this is uh, a simple way to approach, in this case, realtors, although these examples will really work with any real world service related professional niche. Essentially, all you really want to do, uh, and I'm going to actually record an audio for our private community. This I'm going to post actually uh, publicly on YouTube, but if you're in the course, you have access to this, these downloads every week, which will help you uh, navigate the actual steps that you need to implement. All right, you can actually, I uh, keep on saying actually, you can export the PDF uh, down here below. And if you really want to interact with me as well, you can uh, leave a comment on the form. The form is interactive, meaning I can answer questions directly on the form for you, um, you know, uh, accessing it via the link that's also provided in the course. All right, so uh, this is a pretty standard outreach campaign. Again, you want to start with number one, you have a uh, ideal audience or a quintessential client. You want to start with a niche, right? I mean, that's where we all begin. Step number two, irresistible offer. Step number three is the actual email outreach. And the most important thing with the email outreach, this is the, the, the lever that sort of, um, you know, it, it, it pulls and moves the universe for you in the way that you need if you want to succeed, if you don't have a good email, no matter how good your offer is, no matter how good your niche is, you're not going to do well with it. So, you know, you have to be willing to tweak and critique and optimize and improve and iterate the email piece of this, which is why uh, that's something that we focus so uh, heavily on in this work, right? So step number one is the email outreach. And the only thing you really need to do, there's good news and bad news. The good news is there's a very simple uh, hack for this. And I've covered this many times before. All you really want to do is write a specific, personal, and complimentary email. It takes far longer to do things this way. It is the antithesis of that automated kind of BS sort of nonsensical email that we all get, which is really spam when you're getting these emails that say like, hey, friend, you know, I noticed that blah, blah, blah. I mean, that's nonsense. It's not going to make you money. It also, as I've, you know, kind of mentioned in tongue in cheek ways, it makes the world dumber. It makes me dumber. It makes the person sending it, you know, uh, it doesn't do any of us any favor. So you, all you want to do here is it, use this subject uh, line to address the person by name, in this case, Ian, for me, you want to make it personal and you want to make it complimentary and you want to make it specific insofar as you're referencing something very clearly that I do in the world that I know that you are actually paying attention to my work, um, you know, or in this case, the person that you're reaching out to, let's say a realtor in this example, you want to be very, very careful to make sure it's not generic, but it's super specific and take the extra time to say something that is relevant to work they're doing in the world. The best example of this that I'd like to offer is authors. When, when I'm reaching out to authors, we have the absolute best response rate because there's no author, no matter how successful they are, how big they are, outside of the real top echelon authors. I mean, this isn't going to work most likely with Stephen King, but it's going to work with most people who are in that general kind of cluster bucket of, you know, somewhat semi-famous, you know, or below. Because you reference, when, when we reference their book and say something very complimentary about their book, I actually will read on Amazon a free chapter of a book for a a client, potential client that I want to reach out to. So again, very specific and say something like, you know, when I'm looking at authors, I will say, read the introduction to your, uh, you know, your book, really appreciate your perspective on X. I'll make as many specific references as I can. And that exponentially increases uh, response. All right. Number two for realtors is give away a useful template or tool. In this case, what we're doing is giving away a Canva template 
that realtors can use to give away to their clients or potential clients, right? So step one, you're sending an email referencing the realtor in very specific terms. Step two, you're giving them something for free that has a high perceived value. In this case, something that's customized for them that they can give to their clients. If you're part of our uh, this this uh, course community, if you've signed up for this, I will give you a template that you can use to reach out to either realtors or somebody like a realtor in the world, like another financial advisor, or CPA, that sort of thing. That works wonderfully well. It's something that I bought. It's very simple. It's not complicated. It's a Canva template, and you just customize it with their face rather than the, you know, the template you know, derived face and you put their business on there and you could do that even before you send the email and that will even get you higher response. In other words, if you take the initiative to customize it prior to sending it out, you're going to get even that much better response. I generally don't do that, but it works wonderfully well when we do. All right. Number three, have four foundational offers in this case for realtors, right? I mean, to do this well, you're going to give them something free. You're going to reference them by name. You're going to reference them by the work they're doing in the world. You have to have something to sell, and you don't want. And those have to be foundate, or they should be foundational offers. You're not going to pitch them in this email. The best approach is to try to facilitate a phone call or get them on, you know, in in some tor- in some sort of conversational cue. I know many people. Uh, that I've spoken to in the last week or so, some that I'm working with uh, as part of uh, you know this course community, aren't interested in getting on the phone with people. That's okay too. You'll have a better response using the phone as a as a as a vehicle. But you can certainly do much of this by email as well. Just expect a slightly lower or sometimes significantly lower uh, engagement element if you're not. You know, if you're only in, 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 you know, engaging with your audience with, you know, email only, right? So it's only online and you're not asking them to interact with you by phone. If you're doing something like this where you're getting them on the phone, you're going to like do really, really well, really, really quickly. It's just really that easy. All right. PDF newsletter is an example of something that I've recorded in the last couple of days that you can look at um, some of the other videos that I've done for this series. A PDF newsletter that has the realtors like top 10, you know, things to do in Cleveland in December, top seven things to do in Kansas or top seven sushi restaurants in Cle- in Kansas, uh, you know, or events or schools or, you know, like, you know, things to do with your family. For realtors, this sort of curated content works really, really well. And there's a template that I use for this. That's beautiful. I bought it. It makes it very, very easy to give a realtor this really highly refined, aesthetically appealing PDF newsletter that they can offer their audience by dint of working with us. All right. Again, works for other niches as well. This one is specifically created for realtors, though. All right. The next step is you have a second offer, right? We, we talk about four offers. So the second offer would be using the review newsletter service, which is a digital newsletter that's going to match in form and function all of the Canva, Canva template PDF newsletter events or restaurants they recommend or things to do like flea markets and farmers markets and, you know, the dry cleaners and, you know, all that sort of stuff. So the newsletter uh that's being powered for this realtor that you're offering as a service has two matching components, a physical copy, which can be sent obviously via PDF as well, but it can also be downloaded and printed and a fully digital version of the same thing with the same listings, with the same events, the same suggestions, the same recommendations. And you're using review, which is a free service that Twitter just bought recently that that I've been recommending for years that makes creating these sorts of newsletters really super simple and is a high value offer for your clients. All right. Number five, a re or six, a resource library, which is unique, searchable and filterable for realtors, but has their listings, they're this, they're that, they're, you know, all these other sorts of, of things that they want to include. If you haven't seen the video that I've done on this, it's another piece of software that we use that allows that to to quickly curate links that can be 
that literally creates a directory, like a full searchable, filterable uh, directory or resource library, we call it, that a professional can use. That can have all of their blog posts, their recommended, you know, this, their recommended that, and it can be searchable. It gives them this appearance of authority. It's very, very cool, and it's super su simple to make using this resource library software. If you sign up for our um, course, I'll help you with this as well. I can't do this for you, but I can share with you the resource, and if you really needed it done, we could actually do it for you at cost, which is very low. I mean, it's a really super simple tool that I outsource uh, to other people to help with, but it is a great offer to give a realtor or a financial advisor or anyone, you know, a therapist, anyone who sells a professional service. All right. And the last piece of this is, you know, using, again, these irresistible offers, these four founda foundational offers. I'm doing a lot of work now with audio and private uh, feeds. That's why, one of the reasons I'm doing uh, this course this way. Like so a lot of the courses that we're doing now going forward in 2022 are being delivered via private audio. I can now record audios in a private feed f it, for my clients, for my community. And you can offer someone like a realtor, if you're targeting that uh, niche, the ability to do this for their potential clients, right? So I can say to a realtor, hey, we're going to create audio courses that are audio first, bingeable, listen on the go, private feeds, no screens, no, you know, Joe, po Joe Rogan podcast numbers necessary. You're going to be using these as lead generation uh, devices, as education marketing resources. They can be categorized and, and, li and put into a library using this. You have that to offer as well. So all this stuff sort of builds and bolts and extends and expands upon itself in this very, very natural, organic and synchronized way. All right. And then we also have a micro course uh, educational marketing platform that we use that allows us to give someone like a realtor the ability to create these highly engaging little Instagram story sorts of courses that are very easy to digest, that are unique, that are fun, they're entertaining. And it all dovetails beautifully, again, with all this other stuff. They can be added to this resource library. And again, we're giving our clients this unfair advantage using this approach. Now, it's, it's, it should be stated that I'm using this, uh, all this, th this entire model not targeting realtors myself. We're doing a little bit of that just for the example purposes, but I'm targeting therapists and market and mindfulness professionals and authors and teachers and life coaches and thought leaders and community builders. But all this is the same general idea regardless of the niche, as long as the niche is a high value one, right? And again, it all comes down to the same thing I've been preaching for years. What can you borrow to build? What can you leverage to launch? What tools, tech, software, and services make you look like a wizard, a wonderkin, a magician, or an expert in your niche market industry, vertical locality, or area of influence? Seek out those tools and incorporate them into the very irresistible offers that you create, service, and sell, and you'll never have a lack of clients. This is why Card is such a recommended platform because it gives you speed and scale that you could that I couldn't do myself. I couldn't design landing pages for clients or give those sorts of things away as lead generation devices if I was using WordPress and you know HTML and that sort of thing. So you you know the the the, the, the private podcasting uh, platform. I'm using someone else's tool to do that. I'm borrowing someone else's technology to offer this service for, for our, our own clients, right? I'm signing up for something, paying for something that allows me to leverage that tool in the service of offering unique solutions to my audience. Okay, so and all that is true across all of this. This is a tool that I pay for, right? All of, the, all of this is simply a, a function of borrowing tools, tech, software, and services. And when I say borrow, paying for them when you have to and using those to give yourself an unfair advantage and then to extend that unfair advantage to your own clients and community. If you want to join our uh, community, get access to these uh, audio uh, lessons every week with workflows for, for you know home-based entrepreneurs, I encourage you to sign up below. We have just a ton 
of, of content that you'll have access to that you won't have access to in uh, January of 2022. This is going to be very privatized, uh, but for this month, as I'm obviously promoting this fairly heavily, I'm going to be giving access to all these courses, the card uh, you know, course and all the other uh, courses that are like hundreds of hours probably in total of reading material and audios and videos. You can get all of that when you sign up for uh, this new course. Teach what you know, do what you love, wake up the world with your work. Thank you so much, as always, for listening. If you have questions and you're in the course, feel free to ask. One of the things I'm going to be doing is recording private uh, answers to everyone's questions using these private feeds, right? So one of the things that I'm recommending you do for your realty clients, I'm doing for you, for our clients who are signing up for this course. So it's like working with me directly with, you know, I'm recording answers to your questions in a private feed for you. I'm very excited about that. And it's the same idea that I'm telling you to do for other people I'm doing for people like yourself who are in our community. Again, if you're in the course, you can download this by clicking the export to PDF. And you can also engage within the uh, form itself by signing in and um, you know, asking questions on the forum. Thanks so much for watching. As always, have a wonderful day.